chapter 2, lesson 3, is order of operations. So this is where it starts to be a little bit more challenging for the kids. So um, I'm going to start by discussing, this is PEMDAS. Okay, however, the E is not part of the lesson yet. Uh, in fact, in this grade level, there's no E. The E stands for exponent. So, but we will start with the P, which is parentheses. Okay, then we will do multiply and divide. Now, the thing that we have to remember is after we do what's in parentheses, we have to do the multiply and divide from left to right. Okay, so it doesn't mean multiply first, then divide next. No, it's from left to right. And then we finish off the operations with addition and subtraction, again, from left to right. Now, um, in, in this lesson, the kids will be able to use calculators already. So when I will be discussing, I'll discuss first without the use of calculators and then what I'll do is, I'll, after I discuss the problems, I'll show how to put it in the calculator. So it's ideal that the kids have a scientific calculator because the scientific calculator will automatically solve the PEMDAS. So whatever it is that they see, if they type it up, then that's the answer already. Okay, so our problems will come from page 40. Okay, I've selected a few. So we'll start with 1A, letter D. So the problem says 756 divided by 3 times 2. So we have to do that multiply and divide from left to right. So we have to divide first, and since I can't do it mentally, I put it here on the side. So this is 756 divided by 3. So divide, that will be 2. Multiply, 6. Subtract, 1. Bring down, 5. Divide is 5. Multiply is 15. And then subtract, bring down, which means this will be 252. But after... We do 252, that will then be multiplied by 2. So again, this will be 252 times 2 is 4. This will be 10, which means that's 504. So the answer to the first problem is 504. So let's see the second problem. Here it says 370 minus 125 divided by 5. So we have to multiply or divide before we can add or subtract. So which means we start here, which means we have to copy first 370, then minus, and then we divide the 125 by 5. So if we can't do it mentally, we put it on the side. So I'll put it here, 125, divided by 5. So this is 2, multiply 10, subtract 2, bring down 5, that will be 25. So that means 370 minus 25. Now, 370 minus 25 is going to be 345. So, um, again, the kids will be allowed to use their calc at this point, but in the instructions, they're supposed to do the mental or the computational before they check with their calc So, at the end of this process, we will go through the calculator to check if we got these problems correctly. Okay, so uh, in the next problem on 1B, it also asks the same instructions. Now, here the parentheses will show up. So the first thing that we need to do is work within the parentheses. So that means this will be 510 plus 42 plus 38 is 
80 times 7. Okay, so which means we now have addition and multiplication, but the multiplication has to come before the addition, which means this is 510 plus we multiply these two together, that would be 56 with a 0, which means now we can add that will be 1070. Okay. And ending off, so this is uh, 1070. This one was 345. Okay, so ending the set with this, we have parentheses, so we gotta start with this as well. So if we look at this, 325 plus 45 is 370, divided by 5 times 2. Okay, so again, we have division and multiplication, but it has to be from left to right. So we need to divide first before we multiply, not the other way around. Okay, so I'm going to put the 370 divided by 5. That will be 735, bring down 20. 74. So this right here is 74 multiplied by 2 and then now we can multiply those that will be 8 and that will be 1. So that makes it 148. Now like I said all of these they need to be able to put in their calc -Q. So if you can take out your calc -Q, I will show you how to use your calc -Q. Now, if we check our answer to 1A, letter D, we will put in our calc 756 divided by 3 times 2 is equal to 504, which is the same value as we got earlier. Doing the same for 1B, letter D, this time we will press on. This time it has parentheses. So... I will show how to type it up. And again, as we type up what we see, we should get the same final answer as what we got when we did computationally. So we have 510 plus quantity, which is parentheses, and then 42 plus 38, close parentheses, times 7. Earlier, we got 1,070. So when we press equal to, we should get 1,070. So again, it must be typed up as we see it. No variations of in order to get the same answer. Now, trying a little bit harder of a problem with 1C, we will do the same. We will first do computationally and then we will check with a calculator. So I've selected letter E and it says, okay, so we need to first start the items in the parentheses. This one is going to be 8. Now within this parentheses, we have a plus and a divide. We need to divide first. And we did this earlier and we got that this is 25. So that means this will be 75 plus 25, which means this is now 100, which means 8 times 100 should give us 800 when we type up in the calc as well. Again, checking our work with our calculator, we type up parentheses 45 minus 37, close parentheses, times parentheses 75 plus 125 divided by 5, close parentheses. Now, if you make a mistake, there's a delete button. So let me do that. Delete. See, it erased that last thing. I put it back so that you don't need to type up everything. So if we press equal to, we should get 800 as we did earlier. That concludes lesson three of chapter two. See you in the next lesson.